2022 is now behind us as we head forward into the new year, which means new leaks and content reveals for Ashes of Creation. 2022 was a very good year when it comes to what Intrepid has shown us, as they really stepped it up from the previous year's live streams, giving us a bit more in-game content compared to just the art and environment teams we normally saw, along with giving us more of that as well. And now we are going to hopefully see them keep with this trend heading forward through the next 12 months of 2023, and January is going to be no exception. In December, we were all a bit disappointed when there was no big end of the year announcement for the game. And no, I don't think January is going to be a big announcement month either, as this is going to be the month where they move to Unreal Engine 5.1, but we do know that Intrepid will be giving us an updated tank in its Alpha 2 glory in the January livestream. But keep your expectations at a reasonable level, because as of the November livestream, the tank was not ready to be showcased, so this means we're probably getting a very fresh, very early look at this updated archetype. And I imagine this stream will be a bit more on par with the cleric reveal we got in November. It would be very hard to show off the tank without some group gameplay though, so I imagine we'll see some more of that, because the main job of the tank is to generate threat and hold enemies off the other players while taking a bulk majority of the damage. Something that isn't really needed heading through solo content. But I don't think we are quite ready to see a full boss takedown either. Intrepid stated that it'll probably be February or March when we see our first world boss fight in Alpha 2, which is the massive Cyclops guy that roams the Riverland, so I imagine we'll see something similar to the November livestream when it comes to taking on mobs as a group. Hopefully though these mobs are a bit scaled up on the difficulty compared to November's undead creatures, as it wouldn't be as enjoyable seeing the tank for the first time since the combat revamp if the mobs were easy to kill, because you really don't need a tank to take on easy guys. I would though absolutely love to see Steven take a party into a section of a dungeon we haven't seen before, even if the bosses aren't polished yet. It has been a very long time since we got a glimpse at a new dungeon, and even in Alpha 1, although playable dungeons were not where we are said to expect them at launch or even for Alpha 2. A dungeon is going to be where we get a real feel for how exactly the tank feels in the game, along with healing. I imagine in this reveal we will get a much better idea of active blocking impacts through our group content, and perhaps Intrepid has even added stamina to tie in blocking as well, as this was something that was open for discussion in November. I would like to see the tank reveal stand out more from the cleric reveal when it comes to how they are showing this class off. In November stream, it didn't feel much of a cleric showcase at all, as there was not nearly as much breakdown on the class or its abilities as we got for the ranger reveal, and it's really hard to show off how a healer is going to play out when there are only two different healing spells. Although the tank showcase would be a good time to explain the cleric a bit more, along with maybe even talking about the class synergy between the cleric and the tank, as the two go hand in hand in most PvE content. But regardless of how many abilities the tank has, Steven needs to take more time to explain each ability they are showcasing on top of how exactly the tank in Ashes of Creation will stand out compared to other MMOs, along with what makes it more of a skilled role to master. I'm a firm believer that tanking in healing shouldn't be an easy feat, they can just jump right in and master, but something that takes a bit more dedication than your average DPS player to get right, making it much more rewarding when you take down those bosses. But it also can't be too challenging to the point where there is a tank shortage in the game, causing players to wait long periods of time to find one fitting the role they need. The last we saw the tank was in Alpha 1, where it was one of the three playable archetypes for the game. Although I did not play much of it during this time, as I'm not much of a tank player, it did have a good mix between AoE, ranged, and defensive abilities. What are you hoping to get out of the tank reveal in the January livestream? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.